Lesson 1, Welcome Back. Hey John, I can't believe you're finally back home. How was your trip to the US? Hey Anna. It feels great to be back. The trip was amazing. I got to see so many new places and meet so many interesting people. That's awesome. I can't wait to hear all about it. Did you have any favorite moments from the trip? Yeah, there were so many great moments. One of my favorites was when I went to the Grand Canyon. It was such an awe-inspiring sight. I can only imagine. Did you take any pictures? Yeah, lots of them. I'll have to show them to you later. I would love to see them. So, did you have any trouble with the flights or anything? No, everything went smoothly. It was a long flight, but I managed to sleep a bit on the plane. That's good. Did you bring back any souvenirs or gifts for anyone? Yeah, I did. I got you a little something. It's in my bag, let me grab it for you. Oh wow, you didn't have to do that. What is it? It's a keychain with the New York skyline on it. I thought you might like it. Ah, that's so sweet of you. Thank you, John. No problem, Anna. I also got some stuff for my family and friends. I can't wait to see their reactions when I give them their gifts. I'm sure they'll be thrilled. So, what are your plans now that you're back? Well, I'm planning to take a few days to rest and recover from the jet lag. And then I'll be back to work soon. That sounds like a good plan. And we should definitely catch up properly soon. I want to hear all about your trip. Absolutely. I can't wait to tell you everything. And maybe we can plan a little trip together sometime. That would be amazing. I'm already looking forward to it. Me too, Anna. It's good to be back. Lesson 2. Exchange some currency. Hello, how can I help you today? Hi, I need to exchange some currency. Do you exchange foreign currency here? Yes, we do. What currency do you have and what currency do you need? I have some Canadian dollars that I want to exchange for US dollars. Sure, we can do that for you. How much do you want to exchange? I have 1000 Canadian dollars that I'd like to exchange. Okay, let me check the exchange rate for you. Alright, it looks like the current rate is 1 Canadian dollar to 0 0.81 US dollars. So, for 1000 Canadian dollars, that would be $810. Okay, that sounds good to me. Can you tell me a little bit about how the exchange rates work? Sure. Exchange rates are the value of one currency compared to another. They change constantly depending on factors like supply and demand, interest rates, and political events. That's interesting. Do you have any tips for exchanging currency safely when traveling abroad? 
Yes, it's always a good idea to exchange your currency at a reputable exchange shop or bank. You should also avoid exchanging currency on the street or with individuals who approach you, as they may be trying to scam you. Good to know. What about using credit cards or ATMs? Using credit cards or ATMs can be convenient, but be aware of any foreign transaction fees or ATM fees that may apply. It's also a good idea to notify your bank or credit card company before you travel so they don't flag your transactions as fraudulent. Okay, thanks for the advice. Do you have any interesting stories about working at a currency exchange shop? Actually, I do. One time, a customer came in with a big suitcase full of cash. He was a businessman from South America and had been carrying all his money with him because he didn't trust banks. Wow, that's a lot of cash to be carrying around. Yes, it was quite a sight. We had to count all the money by hand and it took us hours to finish the transaction. But in the end, he was happy with the exchange rate and left with a big smile on his face. That's quite a story. It's amazing how different cultures and experiences can shape our views on money and currency. Definitely. Money is a universal language, but it's also deeply connected to culture and history. That's what makes working at a currency exchange shop so interesting. I can imagine. Well, thanks for the exchange and the great conversation. I'll be sure to come back if I need to exchange currency again. Anytime, and have a great day. Lesson 3 Working Performance Review Anna, thanks for coming in. I wanted to chat with you about your performance over the past year. Sure, no problem. How do you think I've been doing? Well, overall I think you've been doing a great job. You've been meeting your targets and your work has been of a high quality. That's good to hear. However, there are a few areas where I think you could improve. For example, you could work on your communication skills and be more proactive in seeking out feedback and opportunities for growth. Okay, I'll definitely try to work on those things. Great. Now, let's talk about your promotion. As you know, the review process is coming up and I've been considering you for a promotion. Wow, that's great news. What do you think my chances are? Well, I think you have a good chance. However, there are a lot of factors that go into the decision, including your performance over the past year, your potential for growth, and the needs of the company. I understand. Is there anything I can do to increase my chances of getting the promotion? Yes, there are a few things. First, continue to perform at a high level and exceed your targets. Second, demonstrate your leadership and teamwork skills by taking on more responsibilities and collaborating with your colleagues. And finally, make sure you are communicating your achievements and contributions effectively to me and the rest of the management team. Okay, I will definitely keep those things in mind. Thank you for the feedback and guidance. Of course. Just remember, even if you don't get the promotion this time around, 
it doesn't mean that you can't continue to grow and advance in your career. Keep working hard and seeking out opportunities for development. I will. Thank you for your support and encouragement. You're welcome. And just to let you know, I'll be submitting my recommendation for the promotion to the higher-ups soon. So, keep an eye out for any updates. Will do. Thanks again. No problem. And keep up the good work. Lesson 4. Meeting with the important clients. So, how are you feeling about the meeting with the clients? I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. They're really important clients and I want to make sure everything goes smoothly. I understand. But don't worry too much. We've prepared for this meeting extensively and we have a solid plan in place. That's true. I just want to make a good impression and show them that we're the best option for their business. And we will. We have a great team and we've delivered excellent results for other clients in the past. That's a good point. I guess I'm just feeling a bit anxious because this is such a big opportunity for us. I completely understand. But remember, anxiety is just a normal part of the process. It shows that you care about the outcome and are invested in the success of the meeting. That's a good way to think about it. Thanks for the pep talk. No problem. And speaking of the meeting, is there anything else you want to go over before we get back to the office? Actually, yes. I was thinking we should review the presentation one more time to make sure we have everything covered. That's a good idea. Let's go over it together in the car and make any final adjustments. Sounds good. And do you think we have enough time to go over any potential questions the clients might ask? Definitely. We can use the rest of the car ride to brainstorm some potential questions and come up with responses. Perfect. I really appreciate your thoroughness and attention to detail. Of course. We want to be as prepared as possible for this meeting. And I have confidence in our team and our ability to impress the clients. Me too. I think we're going to do great. I agree. And once this meeting is over, we can relax a bit and celebrate our success. That sounds like a plan. I'm already looking forward to it. Well, we're almost back at the office now. Let's go over the presentation and get ready to knock this meeting out of the park. Let's do it. Thanks for being such a great partner in this process. Anytime. We're in this together. Lesson 5. Amazing Camping Trip This has been an amazing camping trip. I'm so glad we decided to go. Me too. It's been so nice to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life and just enjoy nature. And being able to spend this time with you has been the best part. I feel like we've really connected on a deeper level. I feel the same way. It's been so nice to just relax and enjoy each other's company without any distractions. 
And this barbecue we're having now is the perfect way to cap off the trip. I love cooking outdoors and it's been great to share this experience with you. The food has been amazing. And I have to say, these marshmallows we're roasting are the best I've ever had. I have to admit, I'm pretty good at roasting marshmallows. It's all about finding that perfect balance between crispy and gooey. You definitely have a talent for it. And it's been fun to just sit here by the fire, roasting marshmallows and talking. Agreed. It's moments like these that really make me appreciate life and all its simple pleasures. And I think it's important to take time to appreciate those moments. Sometimes we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day that we forget to just enjoy the little things. That's so true. And that's why I'm grateful for this camping trip. It's given us a chance to slow down and just be in the moment. And I'm grateful for you. Thank you for planning this trip and for being such an amazing partner. You don't have to thank me. I'm just happy to be able to share this experience with you. Well, I appreciate it nonetheless. And I'm already looking forward to our next adventure together. Me too. And who knows, maybe we'll even get better at roasting marshmallows next time. I have no doubt we will. But for now, let's just enjoy this moment and the beautiful scenery around us. Agreed. Here's to a great camping trip and many more adventures to come. Lesson 6, Marketing Strategy for our new line of electronic toothbrushes. So, we need to come up with a marketing strategy for our new line of electronic toothbrushes. Any ideas? Well, I think we should start by highlighting the benefits of using an electronic toothbrush over a manual one. That's a good point. We could focus on how it can remove more plaque and improve gum health. Exactly. And we could also highlight the different modes and settings that our toothbrush has to offer. And we could target different demographics with different messaging. For example, we could focus on the convenience for busy professionals, or the fun and interactive features for kids. That's a good idea. And we could also create social media campaigns that showcase real people using our toothbrush and their positive experiences. And we could also partner with dental professionals and influencers to help spread the word about our product. Yes, that's a great idea. We could even run some promotions where people can receive discounts or free products for sharing their experiences with our toothbrush on social media. And we could also create educational content about oral health and the benefits of using an electronic toothbrush to position ourselves as a trusted authority in the industry. I like that. And we could also create some eye-catching packaging and point-of-sale displays to grab people's attention in stores. Definitely. And we could run some targeted ads on search and social media platforms to reach our ideal audience. And we should also make sure our website is optimized for search engines so people can easily find us online. Great point. And we could also offer a satisfaction guarantee to give people peace of mind when trying our product. Overall, 
I think our strategy should focus on highlighting the benefits, creating engaging and educational content, and leveraging partnerships and promotions to spread the word. Agreed. And I think if we execute this strategy well, we could really make a splash in the market and establish ourselves as a leader in the electronic toothbrush industry. Definitely. I'm excited to get started on this campaign and see how it performs. Me too. Let's get to work and make it happen. Lesson 7. The Chinese food is amazing. This Chinese food is amazing. I can't believe how flavorful and delicious everything is. I know, right? I've been craving some good Chinese food for weeks now, and this definitely hits the spot. And the service is great too. Our waiter is so friendly and helpful. Absolutely. It's so nice to have a good dining experience where everything just feels right. And the ambience of this restaurant is so cozy and inviting. I feel like I could just stay here all night. Me too. And I love how they have traditional Chinese decorations and music playing in the background. It really adds to the overall experience. And the food is just incredible. I agree. I especially love this Kung Pao chicken. The peanuts and spices really make it stand out. And this hot and sour soup is so flavorful. It's the perfect balance of spicy and sour. And these dumplings are just the best. I could eat them all day. And let's not forget about the egg fried rice. It's so fluffy and perfectly cooked. I think we're going to have to roll out of here after all this food, but it's definitely worth it. Agreed. And I'm so glad we decided to come to this restaurant. It's everything I hoped for and more. Same here. And I think it's a reminder to always try new things and explore different cuisines. Definitely. And I think that's what makes food so interesting. It brings people together and allows us to experience new flavors and cultures. And it's not just about the food, it's about the memories and experiences we create while enjoying it. That's so true. And I think that's why I always feel so happy and fulfilled after a good meal with good company. Me too. And I'm so glad we could share this experience together. Same here. And with that, I think we should get one more round of dumplings before we go. Sounds like a plan. Let's make the most of this delicious Chinese food while we still can. Lesson 8. Connecting to the office network from home. I'm having trouble connecting to the office network from home. I need to finish up some work, but I can't seem to get the connection to work. That's frustrating. Have you tried resetting your router? Yeah, I've already tried that a couple of times, but it's still not working. Hmm, what about using a VPN? Oh, that's a good idea. I forgot we had a VPN service. But I'm not sure how to set it up. 
it's actually pretty simple. Just download the VPN software from our company's website, enter your login credentials, and you should be good to go. That sounds easy enough. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll give it a try. No problem. And if that doesn't work, you could also try connecting to the network through your phone's hotspot. Oh, I didn't think of that. That could work as a backup solution. Exactly. And worst case scenario, you can come into the office to finish up your work. Yeah, I guess that's always an option. But I really don't want to have to drive all the way in. I understand. And hopefully one of these solutions will work for you. Just let me know if you need any further assistance. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I'm glad I have you as a coworker to help me out in situations like this. Anytime. We're all in this together, and I want to make sure we can all be as productive as possible, even when we're working from home. Agreed. And thanks again for your help. I'm going to try the VPN solution now. It worked. The VPN connection is up and running. I'm able to access all the files and programs I need for my work. That's great news. I'm so glad the VPN solution worked for you. Me too. And I'm really grateful for your help. I was feeling so frustrated and stuck before, but your suggestions really saved the day. It's no problem at all. I'm always happy to help out a colleague in need. And I'm definitely going to remember these solutions for the future in case I run into a similar problem. That's a good idea. It's always helpful to have backup plans and solutions in case something goes wrong. And I think it's just another reminder of how important it is to have a good team and support system in the workplace. Absolutely. We're all here to help each other out and make sure we can do our best work. Well, thanks again. I'm going to get started on my work now that I'm connected. And I'm feeling a lot more positive and productive thanks to your help. Anytime. And let me know if you need any further assistance. We're all in this together. Lesson 9, Drawing Sculpture with Fun I love this sculpture. It's so unique and interesting. I can't wait to start drawing it. Me too. I think the angles and shapes are going to be really fun to capture on canvas. Definitely. And it's going to be interesting to see how we both interpret it in our own way. That's the beauty of art. Everyone sees things differently, and that's what makes it so special. Exactly. And I think it's going to be fun to compare our finished pieces and see how they differ. Definitely. And who knows, we might even learn something from each other's techniques. That's a good point. I always love getting inspiration from other artists and learning new things. Me too. And I think that's what makes art so rewarding. There's always something new to discover and explore. 
Absolutely. And I think this sculpture is the perfect subject for us to do just that. Agreed. And it's also nice to just be able to sit here and paint without any distractions. It's so relaxing. Yeah, it's nice to just escape from the world for a little while and focus on creating something beautiful. And I think that's why art is so important. It allows us to express ourselves and connect with our emotions in a way that words can't always do. That's so true. And I think that's why I always feel so fulfilled after a painting session. Me too. And I think this sculpture is going to be one of my favorite pieces yet. Mine too. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. I think we're both going to create something really special. I agree. And I'm so grateful to be able to share this experience with you. Same here. And I think it's just another reminder of how important it is to have someone to share your passions with. Absolutely. And I'm glad we can inspire and support each other in our artistic endeavors. Me too. And with that, I'm going to get back to painting. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Same here. Let's create something beautiful. How's your painting coming along? It's going well. I'm really enjoying playing with the light and shadow on the sculpture. That's great. I can tell you're really capturing the essence of it. And how about yours? It's coming along. I'm still trying to figure out how to capture the intricate details of the sculpture without losing the overall shape and form. I know what you mean. It's a delicate balance. Exactly. But I think I'm getting there. And it's been really helpful to have your input and feedback. Anytime. And I think that's what makes this experience so special. We're not just creating something on our own, we're creating something together. Agreed. And I think that's what makes art so powerful. It has the ability to bring people together and create something meaningful. And it's not just about the final product, it's about the journey and the process of creating something from nothing. That's so true. And I think that's why I always feel so fulfilled after a painting session. It's not just about the finished piece, it's about the experience of creating it. And I think that's why we should always make time for our passions, no matter how busy our lives get. It's important to have that outlet and that space to create. I couldn't agree more. And I feel so lucky to have you as a friend and a fellow artist to share this experience with. Same here. And I'm excited to see how our paintings turn out. I have a feeling they're going to be something really special. Me too. And I'm so grateful for this experience. It's moments like these that make life so worth living. Agreed. And I think it's a reminder to always make time for the things that bring us joy and fulfillment. Absolutely. And with that, I'm going to get back to painting. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Same here. 
Let's keep creating something beautiful. Lesson 10. Birthday cake for our daughter's birthday. So, what kind of cake do you think we should get for our daughter's birthday? Well, she loves chocolate, so I was thinking we could get a chocolate cake with some kind of fun decoration on top. That's a great idea. And I noticed that this cake shop has a lot of different options. Do you want to go in and take a look? Oh, look at this one. It's a chocolate cake with rainbow sprinkles on top. That looks really fun. And it's big enough to feed all of our daughter's friends at the party. Exactly. And this one has a cute unicorn on top. I think our daughter would love that. Oh, that is cute. And it's a vanilla cake, which would be a nice contrast to all the chocolate treats we'll have at the party. Good point. And it looks like they also have a special deal where we can get cupcakes to go with the cake. That's a great idea. We can have a variety of flavors for the cupcakes and they'll make for a nice presentation too. Definitely. And I know our daughter loves cupcakes, so she'll be thrilled. Okay, let's go ahead and order the chocolate cake with the rainbow sprinkles and the unicorn on top and the cupcakes to go with it. Sounds good to me. And we should also ask them to write our daughter's name on the cake, right? Yes, we can do that. And do you want to get any other decorations or party supplies while we're here? Actually, I was thinking we could go to the party supply store next and get some balloons and streamers to decorate the house. That's a great idea. And we can also get some party favors for the kids to take home. Yes, we should definitely do that. I want to make sure our daughter's party is a memorable one. Me too. And I think we're off to a great start with this cake. It looks delicious. I agree. Our daughter is going to love it. Let's go ahead and make the order. I can't believe our daughter is going to be seven already. It feels like just yesterday she was born. I know. Time really does fly by. But I'm so excited to celebrate her special day with all of her friends. Me too. And I think with this cake and all the party supplies we're getting, it's going to be a great party. Definitely. And I'm glad we're doing this together. Planning a party can be stressful, but it's nice to have a partner to share the load with. Absolutely. And I think our daughter is going to appreciate all the effort we're putting into making her birthday special. I hope so. She's such a sweet and loving girl. She deserves the best. Agreed. And I can't wait to see her face light up when she sees the cake and all the decorations. It's going to be a great day. And I'm so glad we found this cake shop. The cakes look amazing. Yeah, we'll have to remember this place for future events too. Maybe we can get a cake for our anniversary or something. That's a great idea. And I'm sure they have other treats as well that we can try. Definitely. But for now, let's focus on making our daughter's birthday the best one yet. 
sounds like a plan. Let's head over to the party supply store and get everything we need to make this party unforgettable. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Let's meet in our next video soon.